All right, math one, final benchmark number 12. Consider rectangle QRST. If rectangle QRST is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin and then reflected across the y axis to form rectangle Q prime, R prime, S prime, and T prime, which two statements are true. All right, so the first thing I need to do is look at Okay, so it's going to be rotated counterclockwise about the origin, and then it's going to be reflected across the y-axis. And it says which two statements are true. So I know I'm looking for two answers. All right, so the first thing I need to do is remember that if I'm going to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, that means I go from xy to negative y x. So let's go ahead and write that down. Well, my pen's not working. Let's see. So I've got x y and that's going to map to negative y x. Alright, so this is for a 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So let's look at um, Let's say, let's look at Q, all right? So if we take coordinate Q and coordinate Q is going to be at negative 5, positive 2. So negative 5 and positive 2. All right, so that's my X, Y. So for it to rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees around the origin, we're going to switch the value of Y. So we're going to have negative 2, because this is our y value, and then our x value, which is negative 5. So it doesn't change. It just moved to the different position. All right, then we still have to reflect it. So we're going to reflect it across the y. So if we reflect it across the y, so let's say q went to negative 2, negative 5. So q got shifted down to here. And then when we reflect it across the y, since that's two units from there, it goes to over here. So that's going to be 2, negative 5. So this is just our one point Q. So this would be Q prime now. All right, so let's look and see what we have here. It says the length of the segment S prime T prime will be equal to the length of ST. Well, these are rigid motions. We're moving it and we're reflecting it, but we're not changing the shape or the size. So that one is true. The measure of angle Q will be less than the measure, or sorry, Q prime will be less than the measure of angle Q. Well, they should be equal because it's not changing shapes or sizes, so that one's not accurate. The X coordinate of point Q prime will be 2. All right, so we found Q prime, and that's 2, so that one is correct as well. The X coordinate of point R prime will be negative 2. The Y coordinate of T prime will be 5. It says find which two statements are true since we found the two statements. You can check these by doing the same rigid motions that we did with the other point. With point Q, you could do the same thing with R and T and check those. But I'm going to move on to the next question. So the answer to number 12 is going to be A and C.